there, I've got another story for you today. This is another one of those backwards stories. It did not start out as children's text. It started out as a ballet. It was written by Tchaikovsky and it was first performed in 1892 in Russia. In the beginning, it wasn't very popular, but now it's the most popular ballet and you see it in every major city and a lot of the not so major cities. And so if you ever get a chance to see it, I hope you do. And I picked this adaptation from Susan Jeffers because she reflects a lot of the ballet themes um, that you would see in a choreography. And so if you've seen it, it might look familiar to me. So let's get started. Nutcracker by Susan Jeffers. And they did a really good job on the end pages. Look at that. It kind of gives you a little clue on what's going to happen in the story. Here's the title page. Susan Jeffers, Nutcracker. Look at that fancy house with horse carriages. Let's see what happens. It was Christmas Eve at the Stahlbaum's house. Marie and her little brother Fritz was listening at the ballroom door waiting for the party to begin. Everyone was dancing when the last guest arrived. Godfather, cried Marie, rushing back to greet him. Herr Drosselmeyer was not only Marie's godfather, but he was also a famous toy maker. He could make toys that moved and clocks that called the hours as sweetly as a nightingale. Herr Drosselmeyer brought presents for the children. He gave Fritz a box of toy soldiers. For Marie, there were two dolls, Harlequin and Columbine, who danced with each other. I have another present for you, Marie, said Herr Drosselmeyer, handing her a wooden nutcracker. I want you to take good care of him. shouted Fritz. She has three presents. He grabbed the nutcracker from Marie and tossed him in the air. The nutcracker crashed to the floor and broke his head. So what? jeered Fritz. It was an ugly thing. Herr Drosselmeyer bound nutcracker's head with his handkerchief. Tenderly Marie took nutcracker into her arms and she put him under the Christmas tree. You think that was very nice of Fritz? I don't. How do you think that makes Marie feel? Outside in the street, the carriages waited. After a flurry of goodbyes, Fritz and Marie were sent up to bed. But my poor nutcracker is all alone, thought Marie, tiptoeing back downstairs. Holding Nutcracker close, she soon fell asleep. Herr Drosselmeyer slipped into the room. Raising his hands, he cast a bit of magic. What do you think is going to happen next? Let's see. Boing, boing, boing. The grandfather clock struck midnight. Marie stirred and rubbed her eyes. The Christmas tree was growing. Around her came scampering of mice. Squeak, squeak! They were gathering like an army to attack. Their ruler was the Mouse King, who had seven heads and seven crowns. Marie held Nutcracker and ran as fast as she could. Nutcracker leapt out of Marie's arms and held his sword at the ready. Fritz's toy soldiers took their battle positions. Swords flashed and cannons fired. Boom, boom, squeak, squeak. Nutcracker fought bravely, but the Mouse King was stronger. No, cried Marie, you shall not hurt him. She pulled off her slipper and threw it with all her might at the mouse king. Yes. 
With a hiss, the mouse king sank to the floor. Gathering up their king, the mice dragged him away from the, sh from the shadows ere Drosselmeyer saw Marie's bravery. He raised his hand and the nutcracker was transformed into a handsome prince. The prince bowed to Marie and placed the mouse king's sparkling crown upon her head. Come, said the prince. They walked through falling snowflakes to a waiting boat that, th that flew, through the, flew them through the night. See how the snowflakes look like ballerinas? Where do you think they're going to go? Let's find out. Welcome to my kingdom, said the prince. But where are we? asked Marie. You are in the land of sweets, said the sugar, sh sugar plum fairy, coming through the gates of the kingdom. Welcome home, dear prince. We will have a party to celebrate your return. The sugar plum fairy led the prince and Marie to the seat of honor. Coffee, chocolate, Chinese tea, marzipan, and Mother Ginger and her Policinellis danced for them. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that last word right. Forgive me if I got it wrong. Pink, rose, pink roses waltz. At last, the sugar plum fairy danced, and she seemed lighter than air. Too soon, it was time to leave. As they flew homeward, Marie asked the prince, will I ever see you again? The prince, the prince replied, one day your courage and your kind heart will be rewarded. Do not forget me. doing under that tree, Marie, said her mother the next morning. Wake up, said Air Drosselmeyer. Marie opened her eyes and hugged her nutcracker. She whispered, if only you were alive, I would not care if Fritz said you were ugly. I would love you anyway. Air Drosselmeyer raised his hand and the nutcracker again became the prince of the fairyland. The prince said to Marie, the Mouse King imprisoned me under an evil spell. Because you love me, no matter what I look like, his spell is broken. I have been returned to my true form. Years passed and the Prince and Marie became engaged. After their wedding, they rode to the Land of Sweets in a coach trimmed in gold drawn by four silver horses. To this day, there are those who say Marie is the queen of a wondrous fairyland that only those who believe can see. If you get this book, there's some interesting side notes in the back. So I hope you liked that story. I hope you get to see the Nutcracker live one day as a ballet. And if you have any questions, be sure and leave me a question. I'll see you next time.